Hey everyone, Annie of Beauty and the Big Girl here. I am sorry that I have not posted anything for like two weeks. School got super crazy. We had three people quit at work, so I've been called in constantly. And yeah, this is my third attempt to make this video. The first time the bench I was sitting on broke beneath me and about a thousand ants crawled out. So that was fun, and after, you know, calming down from screaming like crazy, I tried to do a second one. Got almost done with it, and we had an unwanted, oh, I don't want to say unwanted, but an unexpected visitor walk up behind me and scare the bejesus out of me. So, <laughs> um, yeah, so I'm going to do two videos today, the Makeup Monday and Wardrobe Wednesday, so you're going to see this shirt twice and this makeup look. Um, so I'm only going to, I'll probably post it in both videos just because it's easier and I won't get people going, what were you wearing? Um, but yes, so today I'm just going to go through what I normally put on every day. The only thing that ever really changes in it is lip gloss and eyeshadow. So you'll get a pretty good idea of my daily look and um, I'll also tell you what I figure are what I think are back to school essentials since I know a lot of people go back tomorrow sorry I'm rushing I need to keep this under the 10 minutes but yeah so as you see I have my snapware lid comes off and I started out with the NYC color correcting in yellow oh and you will find everything in the sidebar right that way that way. Um, I'm going to get a webcam soon. I promise this isn't as shaky and like that and crazy. And I can actually pause. Um, but anyway, after the NYC color correcting concealer, which I put under my eyes, um, I put on, of course, my Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. I'm getting eaten by a bug. Um, it's almost empty, as you can see. There's a little bit left. Take off the lid. You can see there's just a tiny bit left. So I'll probably have one more use out of it, if that. Which I'm sad. I have to open my other one. Um, but yeah, so once I get my face primed and prepped, I put on NYC Smooth Mineral Press Foundation Powder. I apply it with a Studio M powder brush. Right there. And um, I use the Natural Light. Um, I have another... Pressed, mineral, pressed foundation powder from Clinique um, that was like $14, I want to say $13.50, something like that. Um, and what, uh, but this one is like 5 bucks, 6 bucks, something like that. So uh, I like it. I haven't tried the Clinique one yet, but I will try that soon and give you a review. But so there's that. And then I put on my Urban Decay oh, Eyeshadow Primer Potion. Um, what primer potions do, well, they're not all called primer potions, some are just called primers. But what they do is you put them on your eyelid. They, some like this one, act, also act as a base, but it helps even out the tone of your eyes, the eyelid colors, or any blotches or veins. And it also makes your eyeshadow stick a little better. So it doesn't. It, um, I have used this before with pure pigment, and I can rub and rub and rub at my eyes, and that stuff will not come off. It is that amazing. I can cry, and it will not come off. It is Urban Decay. It's that amazing. Um, the only really big complaint about Urban Decay Primer Potion is the shape of the bottle. You see, it's a really weird shape, and so stuff gets, like, up in the hump, and you can't get it out. Or it gets down here at the flanged base, or flared base, whatever you want to call it and you can't get it out. So there are videos on YouTube showing you how to cut these open to get the rest of the primer out. Um, I will try to link to one of those again in the sidebar. And, um, but yeah. So, or would it be that way? No, it would be that way. I was right. Um, and so then I put on my eyeshadow. This is a Sephora uh, Shimmering Sunset. I'll do a swatch for you. This is kind of pinky, goldy, orangey, yeah. But um, I'll try to do it in the sun because you can see the shimmer better, I think. But yeah, um, it's very light when you apply it dry, like I am. It's on my finger there. You just can't see it very well without that. 
but, um, I'm not in the good light either, so, but, oh god, I wish I had something wet to apply this with, but anyway, there we go. I don't know if you can see that. No. Anyway, I am going to get a webcam, I promise, I keep saying that, but I promise, but let me try and zoom in on my eyes, see if you can see it better. Oop. I don't know. And if I just shot up my nose, I apologize. Anyway, um, then I put on my Max, Jane Max Lash Squared Primer and Mascara. Um, I do like this. Uh, I still like it, but I need to find a new mascara because I think this one clumps too much, and I it's almost like too thick, if that makes any sense at all. So, um, I want to try one of the vibrating mascaras. But they only come in black, and I have to wear brown because I'm so pale. But if anyone knows of a good brown mascara, vibrating mascara, please let me know. I'm willing to try it. I'm willing to try anything. Oh, I left these in here. This is my eyeshadow brushes. There's also a blush brush, but um, that I got this is 401. I also have a lip brush. Or, no, this isn't a lip brush. It's an eye, uh, eyeliner brush. Duh. But this is the one I usually use, this middle one. It's a flat lid brush. And when I do um, single colors, which I've been doing a lot, instead of layering looks and outer corners and highlighters, it's just easier and less time consuming. Um, and now, last product, or uh, last facial product I use, you know, in the daily routine but before I, you know, get ready to go, um, is this is New York Color Smooth Skin Pressed Face Powder. I have mine in translucent. You can do a light one, but I prefer translucent because you can't see. Um, it comes with this sponge, which I absolutely hate. It absorbs, when you wipe it on your face, okay, you know, it absorbs like half the makeup all right there. You can even kind of see on it some of my foundation, pressed foundation. So I don't know. I don't like it. Um, it has the mirror, of course. Wave. Um, but yeah. So that's that. Um, I apply it with. Uh, this is a pocket, or a purse powder brush. It's the exact same head as the one I use for my foundation, but the difference is it's shorter. And I try to do something to differentiate my uh, foundation brush and my powder brush because it's just, it's sometimes it's bad, it can get bad when you mix them. But, but um, I don't use a foundation brush for my foundation because it's pressed and not liquid, and so I think this covers better by using the um, powder brush. And then last but not least, I have um, this new lip gloss. Now Kitten is still my favorite, but Kitten is $21. And so I don't get to use it as much as I would like. Um, but this is Speed Gloss by Wet n Wild Beauty. Um, Wet n Wild Beauty, so listen up. Because uh, I am reviewing a product like you asked me to. Now, I, as you guys know, I'm not afraid to say I don't like something. Um, you know, and, but this I love. I love, I love, I love, I love. This is in Frenzied. The color is 942. This is the number, and it's Frenzied. It's kind of this pinky, bronzy, goldy, shimmery. Let's see if I can hold in the sun and get this shimmer to show. Yeah, see, so you can see it there? You can see the lines from it. Ooh. But anyway, um, it's called Speed Gloss because it is an energizing lip shine. And um, it has mint in it, so it helps freshen your breath. But it also has, um, oh, six seconds and counting. But it also has like a caffeinated kind of thing. I don't have all the ingredients, but I'll put a link to it in the sidebar. But anyway, last but not least, my back to school essentials, I feel that you need to have in your bag are a pressed powder, a mascara, and lip gloss. Sorry to end this so quickly, but, you know, do what works for you. Um, so I'm going to say goodbye now because this won't upload if I talk any longer. So have a happy Makeup Monday, and I'll see you Wednesday for your wardrobe tips. Bye.